Good. Has Subway ever um, franchi- franchised out their bread where you could like buy it other places? I don't think so. But have they franchised out their smell of the bread? That's a new candle company. I'm just telling you. Don't you think? I mean, if you could figure out how to sell their bread and their, a candle. I know. I mean, everyone knows. Just take a second. Go do a little. <laughs> you know exactly the smell I'm talking about. <laughs> Welcome to the Snack Show with Jamie Fallon. We're just a couple gals snacking our way through life and talking about it. This is your first time in a podcast studio? I just laid the snack down is what I'm saying. Jamie, why in the H-E double pretzel sticks did we start a podcast? That's a great question that I don't remember the answer to. Who famously said, I love bread? Don't know. Oprah Winfrey! Oh. And that is who today's episode is dedicated to, Mrs. Winfrey. Miss I'm Ms. Ms. Winfrey. Ms. I'm dedicating this episode to the band Bread. Why? Because this is an episode about bread. Well, tell us more. There's a band actually called Bread. And did, that's they just, talk, did they sing about bread? Um, I don't think so. Their big song was called Make It With You in 1970. Let's play a little snippet, shall okay. we? Let's get to the chorus. Dreams I like it. It's that sleepy 70s style, you know? So I'll anyways. eat my bread and listen to my bread at oh the gosh. same time. Mm-mm-mm. Bread on bread on bread on bread. All right, y'all. So if you haven't celebrated yet because you don't know, it's homemade national bread day today. Today? Yes, the seventeenth. Oh, I didn't even know that. Isn't today the seventeenth? Um, surely it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, of uh, the seventh. Uh, no, the seventeenth. The seventeenth. Yeah. Um, that is today, y'all. It's been a long week, <laughs> but we've made it. It's Friday. 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 Everybody Friday. eat bread on Friday. Okay, so today we're talking bread, and Jamie, let's go back to our history lessons of yore. I would just like to give. Um, an acknowledgement to those listening that are gluten free, because this is oh, not. We see we you. We see you. There are gluten free bread options, mm-hmm. but clearly this is probably not going to be your favorite of all of our podcasts. Yeah, we're sorry, but listen anyway, because it'll be a boatload of fun. Um, okay, Jamie Crockett. Yes. What year was the first bread baked? Uh, one seventy BC. Ooh, we are bread is way older girl okay think stale think stale i know i was going before jesus even way way before way 2000 way. bc keep going back year one <laughs> what's that is that isn't that a movie i don't know <laughs> with michael Sarah and jack black and they're like um what's the uh word caveman Mm. Well, this is probably close to that. This is in southern Mesopotamia, so that gives Bless you, you any acknowledgement. We're way back in the yesteryears, six thousand BC. Six thousand. Wow. Mm-hmm. Made the first early leavened bread, and they passed on the knowledge to the Egyptians around three thousand BC. Hmm. Who we got to thank the Egyptians for this? They were the ones that came up with adding yeast to bread. Well. I here's what now I'm now I'm like getting into some Old Testament thinking what years were the verses about like um the bread of God and all of that because they had to know what bread was the bread of God (laughs) tell us more yeah for the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world like manna oh this is John we're not in Old Testament I was thinking it was an Old Testament so yeah, you're right. Well, remember when Jesus talks about don't let the yeast into the bread and then it'll spread when yeah. they're talking about the Pharisees. Uh-huh. Yikes. Okay, this is not a biblical podcast. So bread was on day four of creation. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, day one. <laughs> I bet you it was the Lord was like, I need carbs. I'm hungry. We've really strayed. Okay, let's get back to okay. bread. So here we are with bread. Coming at us from 6,000 BC, and here we are today still eating it. Quite spectacular. Let's talk about our favorites. Jamie, do you want to kick it off? Sure. I have far less favorites than Fowl when it comes to bread. Oh, I have so much. I know. We, if you are um, a longtime patronage of the snack show, Mm -hmm. you've heard me talk about nighttime toast. So clearly I do like some breads. Yep. But not... 
for those that maybe haven't heard that episode, what well, I talked of... about it several places, but sure. um, I just love sometimes I crave a slice of toast right before bed, so I call it nighttime toast. And what kind of toast? Um, so well, that's what I'm going to be. That's going to be part of my list. Oh, so don't. So it's, it's different ones. Yeah, yeah. I've only have a couple kind of breads I like. So whatever's in my house is what becomes my nighttime toast. I didn't know if like nighttime toast, toast meant no, this uh-uh. kind of bread. Usually nighttime toast is butter with cinnamon sugar on top, and then the bread is whatever I have in my home. God. So. Very nice. Number one in my heart, always and forever, sourdough. Love it. That was on my list. Ooh, just a sourdough toast we with butter. Sourdough. Ooh, it's so good. And honestly, for those that are a little, um, a little sensitive to breads, sourdough is the best one mm-hmm. to to consume. That was how I got really into it. Was when I was, um, I did like food sensitivity stuff for like mm-hmm. six, seven years ago, and I cut a bunch of stuff out and then could add stuff back in. Mm-hmm. Um, sourdough was an easy add back in. We love you, sourdough. We just love you. Did you get into sourdough bread making in the pandemic? No, I was gonna say not only is sourdough delicious, but it also saved us from. <laughs> It gave everyone ourselves. a hobby in 2020. Yes. yes. Um, I didn't make a single thing of no. sourdough bread. I made a lot of banana bread. I learned a lot about it. I learned that you have to feed it every day and it grows and you can share it with a friend and there's a starter involved. But myself have never made it. Same. Have you ever made any kind of bread? No. Well, growing up, my mom had a bread maker and she somehow mm-hmm. put ingredients and you in put and stuff bread in popped and out. I do remember that in the 90s. It was like yeah. a pampered chef item mm-hmm. or something. But I, I can't even tell you what she put in it. I've bread, done it. Yeah. yeast, yeah. yeast for sure. We mm-hmm. learned about that in the Bible. Water, yeast, flour. Okay. Um, okay. Next on my list or first on my list next to yours. So there is, I have to do a shout out, a place in my hometown. Or really it's in a town next to my hometown, Stevensville, Michigan. Have you ever been? No. She's a great little place. Um, there is a restaurant there called Tosi and attached to Tosi's restaurant How do you spell Tosi? T-O-S-I. Okay. Attached to it is a bakery called Bit of Swiss. And growing up, my grandma, my Nona, we all know her famously Mm -hmm. from her lasagna, she used to always get bread from Bit of Swiss, and it was their Tosi rye bread. And it's not your typical, like, dark rye. It's a lighter rye, so it kind of looks like wheat bread. But the best on this bread was the crust, was like just the perfect crunch to the softness of the bread. And then on the crust of the bread was like big sea salt. Y'all, literally my favorite bread of all time. So if you're visiting Michigan, you got to head to Bit of Swiss, get the toasty rye. I'm telling you, it is the best bread on the planet. Okay. Mm-hmm. And if you can't get to Stevensville, Michigan, next Where are you on gonna go? my list <laughs> Is Cheesecake Factory rye bread. (laughs) Right. I have a lot of questions why bread is an appetizer at restaurants. Because you're always full and then you don't want to eat the food Mm. that you've ordered. Mm -hmm. But that dark bread at Cheesecake Factory. Is it marbled rye or is it just plain old dark rye? I think it's just dark rye. Okay. Because it's just a darker bread. I don't don't remember seeing white in it. Okay. You can also buy it now. I've seen it at Kroger. Nice. So that's a little more um, worldwide accessible. Sure. Rye. And that's on my list. I love that so much. Okay. Shout out to my favorite kind of bread after Tosi Rye. Subway's Italian urban cheese. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Okay, guys. Let's just talk about it for a minute. That Italian urban cheese is pretty good. Has Subway ever um, franchised out their bread where you could like buy it other places? I don't think so. But have they franchised out their smell of the bread? That's a new candle company. I'm just telling you. Don't you think? I mean, if you could figure out how to sell their bread and their, a candle. I know. I mean, everyone knows. Just take a second. Go do a little. <laughs> you know exactly the smell I'm talking about. It is so dang good. You would want that as an actual candle? 100%. If my house could smell like Subway, I'm in to when I just bought a condo. Uh, it'll be the smell of the condo. It'll I be perfect. have just learned something new about you. Yeah. I mean, I know you love Subway, but that as a candle is a really bold mm-hmm statement but let's talk about that bread i mean the outside is is hard enough but soft enough the inside is like a sponge it's so perfect it toasted toasts looks great if you like it toasted it's perfect just plain this specifically italian urban cheese the cheese on top is like crusty gives you a little crunch into your bread yeah cheese on a bread is i'm out you're not in yeah it's not wow. mine mofo you have you had italian urban cheese i have yeah and it just wasn't your favorite. what's your go-to at just a week Mm. Yeah. I used to be just a Italian gal. 
Um, but when they came out with the Italian urban cheese, I was like, I have not had Subway over. in a very long time. But when I did, I used to get the sweet onion chicken teriyaki mm. on wheat. Mm-hmm. Did you or hear? Or tuna. Those did, were my two. Nice. Tuna at Subway. That is a bold choice. <laughs> did you hear they now serve fresh sliced meats? Instead of not fresh, slice? yeah, it used to not be. They wouldn't slice it in front of you. It would just like be oh, in the container. Oh, they slice it in front of they you like at Jersey Mike's. You at Jersey Mike's. Wow, Subway, like okay. horse head, y'all. Fancy schmancy. Wow, 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 wow. I love it. Okay, next on my list is Dave's Killer Bread. Have yes, you heard that of Dave? was on mine. Ugh. I love Dave's Killer Bread. I'm just. I've been trying to like have more fiber mm-hmm. this bread has a little protein in it which helps you hit your protein goals for the day it's got like flaxseed and all the things but it actually mm-hmm. tastes good they say self-proclaimed i think number one organic bread so if you're a little like hesitant about the bread i think you need to try dave's killer bread and uh, here's what i will say when you get a sourdough those pieces of bread are big mm. Dave's are small. Mm -hmm. So sometimes nighttime toast is two slices of toast. And then I get wild and I do one with cinnamon and butter and one with um, like a goat cheese and jelly. Ooh, that sounds great. Yeah. So just in case you've never heard of Dave's, they do like normal sliced bread. They also do like English muffins. So if you're looking for a little pastry in the morning. I've never tried their English muffins. I haven't either, but they, Man, they're available. I love an English muffin. They also do burger buns. So if you just need good, good bread for those burgers, they got those. And they do bars. Did you know they do bars? I didn't. The killer taste, texture, and nutrition you've come to love from Dave's Killer Bread. Now in grab and go organic snack and protein bars. Man, Dave. Dave's serving <sighs> us up. He really is. He really is. So check it out. Dave's Killer Bread. Great branding also. Just Mm -hmm. shout out to their branding team. Yeah. Okay. Next on my list, going with the fast food lane, Jimmy John's sliced wheat bread. Okay. I know you're thinking, Jimmy John's, that's a sub. Uh -uh Uh-uh-uh. There's an option where you can get sliced wheat bread, y'all. It is so good. I've never had that. Full of grains, full of wheat, full of goodness. It's like kind of like your classic, um, like... Uh, deli sandwich just like classic you know two pieces of bread top to bottom sliced in half you're good to go really really good okay and it, it's you know you think jimmy john's you're like eh, would that be good it's actually better than the sub i've only had the sub I there know, it's better i didn't even know it was available to me and, and there's a jimmy it. john's between the office and my home mm-hmm. and it is a drive through jimmy john so i don't even have to get yes. out of the car Tell them you want that sliced bread. Okay. Um, okay. I now have a question for you. Mm-hmm. Do you like white bread? I do. You do? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because then I started going through breads I don't like on the and list. And white was one and of white, them. And I don't like white bread. My mother loves it. It is the only thing that is in the cupboard. Mm-hmm. And so if I am visiting, I have to go purchase my own bread. Interesting. But I didn't. I just wondered if that was a generational thing hmm. because that was what was readily available. Sure. I definitely grew up on white bread. Um, and I still eat it if it's the only thing available. I tend to go more like multigrain or wheat because I just think it's healthier for you in the long Same. run. Yeah. But I'm not against white. Like, I Is just, it the taste you don't like? Uh, or? I guess. Yeah. It, and it feels a little like it like sticks to the top of your mouth sure. when you eat Especially it. Especially if you add bologna and cheese. Oh, yeah. And that'll just stick, stick, stick. Mm-hmm. I also just don't think it tastes as good, like with a PB and J. Mm. I don't know why. I what do you do a with wheat. a PB and J? Just a wheat, whatever I have. See, I would say PB and J has so much going on that you only need white because you don't oh. need any extra embellishments. Uh, yeah, I yeah, I hear that. I was thinking there was this little bread shop around the corner from my grandma's house where, like, we'd go to pick up bread. It was actually a Wonder store, like oh. Wonder Bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um. So, anyways, I was just thinking about white bread, and I wondered if I was the only one that didn't like it. Mm. Um, was white bread what you wanted to talk about or do you want to share something? Yeah, else? I just I just sort of like um, tr- stream of consciousness put notes for today's episode. Mm-hmm. I didn't really make a list like we normally do. Sure. And so I just have some notes to myself. And so I, I said, that do you like note. white bread? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next on my I do like this type of bread, baguettes, y'all. Ooh, baguettes. Yeah. I'm I'm not against a baguette, but I don't think about them. What? I think that's my problem is bread for me is like 
of food where it's like, okay, but like I'm not very often thinking about just bread. What? Yeah, that's what I'm wow. saying. I'm I think I love it so much because it's a great mixture of soft and comforting and also there's that crunch with the crust every time. Or most of the time, I guess some sliced bread doesn't have that much of a crunch. But specifically breads like baguettes, that outer crust just is just a pers- perfect little crunch to the inside softness and sponginess. Yeah. Shout out to I think I talked about them before, Baguette de France was a restaurant in St. Joe, my hometown that I grew up in. You have a very cultural experience in mm, where you I'm live. I'm just saying, those Michigan. baguettes were fire. So, so good. Um, okay, then next on my question list, because I'm just going to go yeah, through yeah, questions yeah. Keep asking since you're, questions. you're the bread person. Sure. And I think I know the answer, but like croutons, breadcrumbs. Love them. Like, do, do you like stuff better if it has breadcrumbs on top? Of 100%. Like, yeah, see, I do not. I think I've talked about this on the podcast before, but my brother is my bro- well, younger brother is 16 months younger than me. And he's the bread lover of the two of us. Our other brother came a, a few amount of years later. Mm-hmm. And so I used to negotiate my croutons on my salad at dinner <gasps> for like things. What? Like either I'll, you give me your dessert and I'll give you my croutons wow. or I'll give you my croutons if you do X. If you take out the trash for me, if you like whatever our chores But were. then if they didn't take you up on it, you would just put them in the trash anyway? I, yeah, I would just put them to the side. <laughs> <laughs> but usually he would say yes because okay. there's not much he wouldn't do for bread. Oh, yeah. Croutons elevate a salad 100%. But I most of the time take take that stuff out. I just mm. don't. What is it? Hearts the roof of your mouth? I don't know. It just I don't like bread. And so I'd sort of like, oh, like how I am like adding cheese in a taco or something like if cheese is itself like queso, that's fine. But when it's mixed in, I'm like, ah, oh, if I don't miss it, why put it in there in the first hmm. place? Interesting. So, but well, I, pass as I was, croutons. I'll but do as I was like crouton. reading about different breads, all these like breadcrumb recipes. And then I was thinking about like mm-hmm. Thanksgiving's coming up and I was like, yeah, I just don't, that doesn't do anything for me. You do love bread. I like you stuffing. you love dressing. I know. I'm telling you that's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to talk about dressing? Uh, yeah, or stuffing, either or. It can yeah. go in the bird or out. But that's right. where I like bread is uh-huh. stuffing. And I think it's all the flavors because that's what I thought sure. about. Like, I like uh, stuffing flavored chips from Trader Joe's. Right. That's flavoring. It's not, there's no real no bread there. Mm-hmm. So I like whatever. It's actually f- soggy bread is what you like. I guess. <laughs> Soggy bread with flavors? She's in! (laughs) (laughs) Um, Hey, I don't disagree. My favorite bread crumb, going back to the bread crumb recipes, is um, chicken broccoli casserole with a nice bread crumb topping with cheese on top where it just like really like melts together and then makes it crispy. Great, great topping for yeah, a casserole. Yeah, if anyone listened to the casserole episode, you also know I feel weirdly about casseroles. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. It's fair. It's fair. It's, you yeah. like sugar. I like bread. <laughs> um, okay. I like <laughs> soggy things in pans with bread on top. Yes. <laughs> okay. Next on my list, focaccia bread. Oh, that's a good one. Are you a fan of focaccia? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I it's like a good focaccia. one. Good Italian bread. Uh-huh. Great with pizza. Great as an app for your salad. Um, just overall, just a fun bread. Um, if you've never had it, I'm trying to describe it. It's almost like fluffy naan with Italian herbs on top. Mm-hmm. That's the best way I can describe it. It's somewhere between like a naan and a sourdough. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Add some Italian toppings and you're good to go. Mm-hmm. Focaccia. Okay, what's next on your list? Okay, I think we're going to call this a bread. I think it's a bread. A bagel? Yeah, of course. Okay. Bagel's a bread. Do you know to make bagels, you first boil them and then you bake them? What? Oh, true. I've seen them dipped into like a fry mm-hmm. thing before. No, no, no. That's, it's boiling water. Oh. Mm-hmm. Have you made bagels? Nope. Oh, you just But know. I've learned how. Got it. Um, um, I do love a bagel. Mm-hmm. Favorite bagel? One, two, three. Uh, the cinnamon Everything crunch bagel. from Panera. <laughs> wow, Panera bagels. <laughs> well, that cinnamon one. Oh, yeah. If I'm just a regular bagel, I just like a regular one. But like, I love a breakfast Sammy mm. with a bagel. Mm-hmm. Love. Very good. With an egg, with some sausage. Ooh, when I lived in New York, cheese. Saturday mornings, getting a bagel at Pick a Bagel or Ess a Bagel. Ooh, it was my Saturday tradition. So, so good. Also, be the good hangover. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got to mm-hmm. soak up what's in there. Yep. Um, I used to live near a Brugger's Bagel and I used to go oh, get their nice. breakfast sandwich. Nice. 
Um, okay, love bagels. That was that's a great one. Of it course, is. yeah, it counts. Of course, great. Okay, next on my list. Don't yell at me because I'm going to say biscuits because I think they count as bread. But cheddar biscuits from Red Lobster. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Those are so good. I've had them and I like, they're fine. But I don't, again, if like, if there was one left, whoever I was with could have it because they would probably mm. it, appreciate it more than I would. Yeah. I haven't you had know? them in years, but I grew up on them. I had them a few years ago. There Do was they still like, stand? Um, again, I thought it was fine. I don't, mm. I didn't eat them as a kid. So I didn't, I don't think uh, I ever had them until I was in my twenties. Yeah. Still crumbly. Uh-huh. Still cheese inside. Yeah. With herb on top. Uh-huh. Sounds right to me. <laughs> okay. Gotta go there's check a, it out. There's a red lobster not far from here. Cause there was a group of us that wanted to have, um, crab meat and so we decided to go to the red lobster for dinner i love it i love it hey snackers you scream ice cream and we all scream for nuts.com yes yes we do <laughs> okay do not let this website confuse you nuts.com is our favorite one-stop shop for freshly roasted nuts and also dried fruits sweets pantry staples like flowers and more i like the chocolate covered gummy bears so their wide selection means that there is something for everyone. Literally at nuts.com, y'all, quality is the top priority. They roast their nuts and pop their corn the same day it ships. If that is not fresh, I don't know what is. So they reach you deliciously and scrumptiously good and fresh. Satisfaction is guaranteed. Okay, so our recent shipment of nuts.com products came in the other day and we got toasted corn. Think of corn nuts, y'all. These are so good honey sesame sticks and then my absolute favorite half pop popcorn so think popcorn but it's kind of corn nuts kind of popcorn all on the same dish it was amazing delish so right now nuts.com is offering new customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $29 or more at nuts.com backslash snack show so go check out all of the delicious options at nuts.com backslash snack show and you'll receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $29 or more. That's nuts.com backslash snack show. Get your nuts on. Okay, what's on your list? Um, what's your next question? Well, again, this isn't a this is a bread-based food. So whatever kind of bread you can make French toast with. I like French toast. Sure. Usually it's a thicker bread. Uh-huh. Um, but it's all about the egg yolk that you're soaking it in and the uh -huh. butter and all yeah, the Yeah, yeah. That's what, it's most of the other sugar. things and the bread's just the vehicle for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. But it's got to be a good thick bread. Okay. You don't want it so like thin. It'll get too soggy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I've ever actually made French toast. I haven't either, but I've eaten enough that I can <laughs> I can understand you need something substantial. Um, well, that. any any bread that is offers French toast is a okay for me. Perfect, love it, love it. Everything's when, better dipped in something else. That's true. She'll say it <laughs> once and she'll say it again. Um, okay, going back to bagels, bagel chips. Oh, I do love bagel chips. If I've you got listened to in... last week's episode, we talked bagel chips, y'all, and I finished my bag yesterday. Did you? Did you finish your bag? No, it's sitting Anthony, on... did you finish your bag? Can I have yours? Sure, they're sitting in my office. Yes. You're not going to eat them? Um, they're so good. I mean, not all of them. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely have them. Great. They're just, um, they're New York style bagel chips. Garlic is the specific flavor we talked about last week. So, so good. Love a bagel chip. I actually ate lunch today and I was thinking, I, I wish I had some tortilla chips when I was eating. I probably could have used the bagel chips. And I didn't even think about it. They, they were fun. sitting one feet away from me. Oh, man. Missed opportunity. <clears throat> um, okay. I um, also have another question for you. Yes. Do you like Texas toast? Yes. Love I Texas had toast. never had Texas toast until I ate at Zaxby's. Well, actually false. When I ate at McDougal's, which is a chicken place here in Nashville. But then when you go to Zaxby's and you get a salad, it comes with Texas toast. And I would always pass on that. You know, I would, um, this is going to be a hot take. I would say that kind of Texas toast is not the kind I like. There's multiple kinds of Texas toast? The Texas toast? toast that I'm thinking of is the frozen Texas toast that's like almost like garlic bread in like sliced bread form. Okay. So it has a lot of butter, garlic, herbs. I feel like the Texas toast you're talking about usually is just like a toasted piece of bread with maybe some butter on top. This says Texas toast is a toasted bread that's typically made from sliced bread. Yep. That has been sliced at double the usual thickness. 
It's prepared by spreading butter on both sides and broiling or grilling until it's golden brown. Okay. Commonly, garlic is added to the butter. Yes. And it may have cheese on both sides. So I don't think Zaxby's does the garlic part. I think they stop at the butter, and that's what I'm missing. Mm. Yeah, it's just not my... It's just, again, if I'm going to ingest calories mm-hmm. into my bod, mm-hmm. it's going to be something else. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even know that Texas toast was a thing until I was an adult. Oh, yeah. It's a huge thing. Um, going off that, just garlic bread in general. Oh. Just frozen, like Stouffer's frozen garlic bread, the long one that comes in like strips and like half of it's like pure butter and garlic. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that is so good. The crispy outside. Are you imagining it with me? Yeah. Mm, kind of looks like a boat. Um, it's just a garlic butter boat. It really is. <laughs> garlic butter boat. <laughs> That's my favorite kind of bread. <laughs> also, garlic bread is not hard to make. I've made it m- multiple times. Again, just melt butter on a piece of bread, put some you know, minced garlic on top, do a little dash of your Italian seasoning, put it in the oven, boil it, you're good to go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon Squeezy. garlic bread. Okay, next on my list, going off the back of bagel chips, rye chips. Those brown rye oh, chips. Oh, in like Gardettos? Yes. yes. I didn't even think of those. Those are the best That's the only on the part planet. of Gardettos I want is just the rye chips. And yeah, the rest those are of definitely it, the best. Get out of here. I like to um, eat the pretzels first, then the little like squiggly sticks, and then the rye chips you save for last. Oh, I just try to find the rye chip bag. They sell oh, it now they by do. itself. They do sell the right trip bag on it. Just because then I'm being more efficient because I'm not interested sure. in any of it. Sure. That's fair. That's fair. Don't waste your calories. Yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. So next for me is also I was I was like, I think this is a bread. Pretzels. Oh, my but gosh. Of course. But a soft pretzel. Oh, nice. Big soft pretzel with big rock salt uh-huh. dipped in mustard. Okay. Honey? Regular? All of the above. Any of them. Yeah. Have you ever tried it in ranch? I have. I've also tried it in cheese. Okay. So, I think that's all I've tried it too. I've all, oh, also tried it in marinara. Oh, nice. My favorite's ranch. Yeah, there's something about a mustard with the rock salt mm-hmm. that really does it. For or me. like a beer cheese that you dip it in. Yeah, Ooh, I'm not a giant really beer cheese fan, but mm-hmm. yeah. Well, fair, fair. So, soft pretzel, big, great bread. A big soft pretzel. Um, okay, we already nodded to this. <laughs> we already nodded <laughs> to this. Oh. Non bread. Yeah, I do like non. Makes a great, great addition to so your rice It's a great vehicle rice bowl, to your Indian food. Your meats. Yeah, it kind of acts as your utensil when mm-hmm. you need it too. So it's a good shout out to Naan. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Naan. Um, okay, next for me is another question. Sure. Bread pudding. Ever had it? I don't like it, but I don't know if that's warranted because I've had it or I've looked at it and said, nah. Yeah, I um, had never had it, and then I looked up what's in it, and I thought that is some depression era grossness right there. Yeah, it I'm not feels into like it. it's like we have this stale bread. What can we do with sure. it? Sure, I bet you that's what it was. And I, I'm, what's, so I'm, tell us what's in it. Well, hold on. Oh, she's got to look it up. Um, we got bread. Mm-hmm. We got pudding. <laughs> Bread pudding is a bread-based dessert popular in many countries' cuisines. It is made with stale bread and milk or cream, generally containing eggs, okay. and then some sort of fat such as oil, butter, um, or suet? suet. Sure. I've never heard of that. Um, depending on whether the pudding is sweet or savory, it can have a variety of other ingredients. Interesting. So. Yeah, not into it. I'm surprised you're not, soggy bread woman. But it's stale bread. Woo. Yeah. Well, they probably need it stale because they need it like extra crunchy. It so feels then it like can soften up. bread pudding is the lesser version of like monkey bread. Oh, monkey bread. I'm monkey adding that to good. our list. You know okay, what I mean? let's talk monkey bread. <laughs> I made this in sixth grade in my home economics class and I've never turned back. <sighs> let's just talk about it. Okay. It's almost like little pieces of cinnamon bread mm-hmm. all like congealed together with like... A drizzle of sugar and powdered just, sugar. Yeah, and, tell yeah. us everything. Um, She's okay. got the recipe pulled up. Monkey bread's a soft, sweet, sticky pastry. Um, it consists of pieces of soft baked dough sprinkled with cinnamon. Yes. 
And then there's usually butter and frosting on top. Yeah, there's like a glaze. So Whoa. let's just quickly pause this episode of the podcast. Let's go back to the beginning. And mm-hmm. let me say my first favorite bread is cinnamon bread from Dollywood. Oh, right. I, I can't believe you forgot. I feel remiss that I, it took this long to get here. Sure. Tell us about the dipping sauces that come with it. It is just like a frosting, like mm. a thin powdered oh. sugar mix that you put on top of this bread that like is dunked in bread Mm -hmm. or butter and cinnamon y'all people may say go to dollywood for the music the rides the attractions no you are going for the cinnamon also if you are in pigeon forge and you cannot get into the park the dream more hotel which is also owned by dollywood sells the cinnamon bread you just Mm -hmm. walk in the hotel and it's a whole like loaf of bread that you're getting there's probably like seven eight slices yeah it's big and it's own own little tin container. Uh-huh. So that mm-hmm. is my that's my hot take. Very good. That was a great one. Um, okay, I got two more. Okay, I have one more. My second to last one is paratha. Never heard of it. South Asian flaky flatbread. Where so, have you had it? Um, like at Asian, um, like I'm trying to think, like Asian infused restaurants. So like there's a restaurant in my hometown called Tim's Two. And they have it there. You can also buy it from the store. Uh, Trader Joe's sells it in the frozen um, food section. But think kind of non bread. What's it called? Parana? Paratha? Paratha. P- I don't know if I'm saying it right. P A R A T H A. It's like yay big and yay thin. She's or thick. shape. If for those listening, it's basically kind of like a like pancake. A, like a pancake. And or like a slice of just like a regular slice of bread. Uh, thinner. And then it's flaky, but it's almost like translucent like it's kind of see-through and then when you pull it apart it's kind of stretchy a little bit it's really hard to describe but it's probably one of the most delicious breads i've ever had the way you're describing it sounds like slime from nickelodeon double dare and i'm not into it no uh, you're not i'm not describing (laughs) it translucent and it's stretchy (laughs) if for people that have had it they know exactly what i'm talking about yeah flaky translucent and stretchy Mm -hmm. are are, my brain isn't computing but i'm i'll try it yeah it's very very i'm open to the idea yeah trader joe's run to your local trader oh they have it there yeah in frozen section oh okay Mm -hmm. yep my last, but certainly not least, is the only bread I've ever made and could eat a whole loaf myself, banana bread. Sure. It's not really a, I mean, it's kind of a type of bread, but it's just a dessert way. I mean, you bake banana bread and then you put butter on that thing. Hoo-wee. What a treat. Very good. What a uh, treat. A little cousin to banana bread that I like, zucchini bread. Oh, I do like zucchini mm-hmm. bread. Yeah, I've never made it, but I do like it. It's or an a easy way to muffin. sneak in those uh, uh-huh. vegetables to your kids. Yeah. Very good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Last one on my list might be the best one. I don't know. Pizza Hut breadsticks. Just <laughs> plain old Pizza Hut breadsticks. Specifically Pizza Hut breadsticks. Okay. And I don't mean the cheese ones. I mean the regular Pizza Hut breadsticks with the little like seasoning uh-huh. cheese. And they're like crunchy like, on the side. Dry Parmesan cheese on top. Yeah. Crunchy on the side. Soft in the middle. Dipped perfect. in marinara. Half marinara, half ranch is how I do it. Yep. Pop it in. Just perfect. Just perfect. That's a Doesn't gr- need more. Doesn't need less. That is a it is. great way to end the list. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do we- people go to Pizza Hut these days? Is that still a thing? Like, that was just such sure an integral part so. of our childhood of going to the Pizza Hut with those red plastic cups. Yes. And the breadsticks i mean it was also buffet time back then i doubt that that still exists if pizza hut still does did you ever do the old um pour um the roasted red pepper flakes into your friend's drink no that was always i don't a know really that i meant trick. that many with friends we went a lot as a family it, oh, there really? was one near the railroad track and my baby brother was obsessed with trains and so it was a great way to have him distracted so the rest of us could eat interesting <laughs> nice yeah he'd watch the trains go by i love it i love it so much and it was near where my dance studio was nice so great um okay before we leave we gotta talk one thing you know what it is it's snack Snack of of the the week i like when you whisper (laughs) along Jamie, if you don't give me your snack of the week, I'm going to walk right out of the studio. Wow, so aggressive. Do you need some bread? No. Um, okay, my snack of the week is a little different. 
than how we normally do this. Okay. My snack of the week is a genre, not an exact snack. Okay. This is just me plugging my friend's new book is really what's happening. Oh, wow. So my friend Danielle Cardis has a new cookbook called Butter, Flour, Sugar, Joy. It came out last week. Okay. It's a cookbook, but it is all desserts, <gasps> which we know I love. We love. And it's like the one bowl wonders. And so it's really easy recipes to make. It's kind of like dump and go. That's what I like. And so like there is a pumpkin um, cheesecake in there. There's like these little like the fingerprint bars, you know, that you make where it looks like there's a little fingerprint in the middle. Mm -hmm. There's cookie. Mm -hmm. There's just all kinds of desserts. Yum. And so desserts is my sure. <laughs> snack of the week. I but I needed to back up so that you knew why it was. Sure. So anyways, get go get Danielle's cookbook. Hey. And make you some treats. I love anything that it looks like I tried a long time on it, but it was really probably five minutes. Yeah. I like easy. I also like baking more than I like cooking because there's exact rules. Whereas cooking mm. is a little like go where your heart leads you. And I'm like, but how much paprika? Sure. So sure. That's fair. I get it. So anyways, I love it. Well, good luck to your friend. I yeah. hope Butterflower Sugar Joy sells many copies. Um, okay. What is your snack of the week? So mine is a beverage snack Ooh, of the week. We love a liquid snack. Um, of course it's Trader Joe's. And my snack of the week this week is their sparkling water, specifically the star fruit flavor. I've never had it. Very good. I'm a big bubbly girl fan. You all know this. Love my bubbles. And I'd never tried their star fruit flavor before. And I just got a six pack. If you know, someone can. doesn't know what star fruit is, what does star fruit kind of taste like? I couldn't even tell you. Is I it, honestly could. Is it tart it's, like no, a pomegranate? No, it's not tart. It's sweet. Okay. But it's not too sweet. Okay. It's kind of is tropical. Is it like a pa flavoring? I was gonna say is it like a passion fruit kind of a little? Maybe. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of tropical, but it's just delicious. It's just like it's it's, an, it's enough flavor to the water that just adds a little essence. Um but I really have been, been enjoying it. So are you going to go back for the bigger than the six pack? Well, y'all, I'm sad to say someone told me it might have been you. Sparkling water so bad erodes for the enamel from your teeth yeah when we did our episode about sparkling water i was not it was helping the she told me this in photo sorry and i have very sensitive teeth and i'm scared that it's not helping the situation um try if you really want one drink it with a straw okay because then it bypasses your teeth and just goes straight i mean it's still not yeah, the the that's acidity better, level though. of the drink, but if your teeth is what you're worried yeah, about, yeah, that's better. That's why I drink everything through a straw because I am I have sensitive teeth and I'm vain about the color. Yep, that's a good idea actually. I'm gonna start doing that. It's not that I like do the like drink big but it's cheeks just, yeah. thing, but I think a straw would definitely it help. definitely would do stuff to the back of your teeth. Just natural mm -hmm. drinking, right? You know? Right, right. That's true. Um. Okay, I have really fun news, guys. Do we I? have a listener snack of the week. We do? You guys have been calling in. You've been sharing your snacks of the week, and it's time to listen to a new snack of the week. So please tell us, listener, what is your snack of the week? Hey, Jamie and Fallon. This is Quinn from Nashville, and my snack of the week is Bada Bean Bada Boom sweet sriracha little bean snacks um so i've never actually bought these in store i got a birthday gift that included them in a little snack box which yes shout out snack box um but these i had very low expectations to be honest and they were absolutely delicious the consistency was what surprised me the most i was expecting them to be more like an actual cooked bean where it was kind of slimy and chewy or something but instead it was actually crunchy and almost like a thick like Frito or something like that where it was like a little crunchy and crisp and it was so delicious and sweet and salty and I 10 out of 10 would recommend. Bye! Thank you Quinn! Bada bean bada boom! Yeah these look like corn nuts. Do they? They're crunchy broad beans. <gasps> Yum! And she said sweet sriracha but there's buffalo wing, okay. garlic and onion, <gasps> mesquite barbecue, uh -huh. sweet cinnamon, okay. and zesty ranch. <gasps> oh, and spicy wasabi, but you won't be into yeah, that. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Ooh, It's high Quinn. fiber. 
I just learned about a new Anna's snack. going free. And I'm so excited. Yeah. Y'all, this is great news. What? An okay. exciting discovery. Tell me, is it an actual bean? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, fava beans. Fava beans. Okay. A nutrient-rich legume high in protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals, and very low in fat. The beans are lightly roasted in sunflower oil sp- sprinkled with sea salt and seasoned to perfection. I mean, bada bean, bada boom, I'm in. Yeah, I got to find out where to buy those. Ooh, I'm sure Amazon has them. She yeah. said she got them in a snack box. Mm-hmm. Hey, Quinn, want to send us a snack box? Just Ooh, Target's send. got them. Target. Oh, <laughs> Target. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They got they got some Whoa, of them. Whoa, six pack for 40 bucks? These are not cheap items, but probably worth it. Let's be honest. Yeah, probably. Okay, Quinn, thank you so much for calling in. We will take that suggestions and we will try it. Yeah, I can't to wait you. to try Bada Bean. Also, love the name. Love the name. I mean, come on. So clever. Name wins it all. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this very bread episode. Gluten free friends, we love you so much. Thank you for sticking with Shout it. Shout out to Ezekiel bread, right? Because that's what my gluten free yeah, friends have. Ezekiel yeah, Ezekiel bread. Yeah, we should have mentioned that. Yeah, earlier. we should that's have. A really good one. Yeah. Um, but we love you so much, and we will, I guess, see you next week. Carbo load before then, and I'll eat more snacks before <gasps> then. She stole my line. <laughs> <laughs>